Hi designers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this 3D dropper bottle mock-up using Adobe Illustrator and Dimension. I've got a couple of reference images here and I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and start with the bottle. And there are many ways to create this shape. Can use our shape builder tool and grab these two corners and subtle corner radius up here at the top. I'm really only going to use one side, so let's go ahead and get only half of it. And with both shapes selected, we can go to our shape builder tool again and hold down option to remove those pieces. And I'm also going to delete that line. Another thing we need to take a closer look at is this bottom has slightly thicker glass and there is a thickness up here at the top. So I can either do an offset on the line or pin draw it. Let's try the offset. Go to object path, offset path, and depending on what units you're working in may determine the value of the offset. And I'm going to take the direct selection and remove the outer offset. So now we can select both points and command J will join those points. And up here, let's align and connect those points. Click join command J and give a slight inner corner radius there. There might be some overlap still from that offset. Next, let's create this little extrusion on the neck with the ellipse tool. And I don't know yet if there's a way to create this screw form. So you could duplicate whenever we create the 3D. Here at the bottom, let's go ahead and increase the thickness. And now let's create this top part of the dropper. And grab the pen tool. And for this cap, we could either extrude an ellipse or we can use the pen tool to draw half of it. It looks like this is plastic and this part's rubber. And the shape builder again, or Pathfinder Unite. Let's create half of this dropper as well. And I'm actually going to create the flute that is on the cap. We've got kind of an example shape here. So I'm going to create a small rectangle and go to object, repeat, radial, and either increase the diameter with this dot or up here. You can change the radius and you can increase the repetition here. Let's do 40 or so. And if I click into that group, let's add a little bit of a corner radius. Be sure to save your document. Now let's begin turning these into 3D objects. So you're going to want your window, 3D and materials, and asset export palettes open. So for the bottle, I'm going to change that to a fill and revolve. In my case, from the right edge. Next, let's revolve this neck part. And we need to do an offset. Let's go ahead and revolve that top rubber piece on the right. And this plastic cap, revolve. And for this fluted piece, I'm actually going to use this a little bit thinner one. Let's add extrusion. And we can adjust the depth further in dimension if we need to. We just want it to cover the height of that cap. And it's nice that you can adjust your anchor points later. Let's revolve this glass dropper part. And that's looking nice. We might want to thicken the stroke just a little bit. And this could be a fill or a stroke. Let's go ahead and create a fill for the inside of the bottle. And if you need to remove that graphic style, go over here to the appearance palette and remove that 3D effect. So what I want to do now is just isolate this inner line because we're going to be creating the fill. So I've got my scissors and now 
I just have that inner piece, which you can adjust if you want to. Maybe bring it just slightly off that edge. And then with the pen tool, you can make a little bit more organic of a top where the surface tension would be. And let's go ahead and revolve that and align these top and bottom anchor points to close that gap. So you can see if we make any adjustments, what that looks like now that it's 3D. Okay, let's go ahead and export these assets. So one at a time, you're going to scroll down in 3D and materials palette and select export 3D object. And you're going to do that for each of these. And you can rename them here or later. I'm going to export as an OBJ format. Now let's open up Dimension. When you export out the assets, it does export a material file. You can delete those. And one by one, you can drop these into Dimension. And with all the layers selected, you can go to Align, which the shortcut is A. And let's align them to all axes and make sure they are above that flat plane. I'm going to go ahead and center them on my workspace too. And with all of them still selected, you can tap F on the keyboard to bring that into view. And you will want to rename these now. All right, now let's start adding materials. For the bottle, you can go to glass or maybe a colored such as that beer. And now we can change the base color to a blue. Might want to do a little bit of render preview. That's pretty close. That's pretty cool. Let's keep it. Got lucky there. For the cap, we want something plastic. Let's do that plastic and change it to almost black. For the neck piece, we can sample with our eyedropper, eye for shortcut, that glass. And for that rubber top, we can just sample the plastic. When you click into it, click this little broken link. So it's not going to update the plastic piece. It's only going to update this one. It's helpful to have your reference open. And for the dropper, let's add the glass. And we need to rotate those flutes. You can also sample that plastic color. And that's going to be a 90 degree rotation on the X axis. And those all exported as a group. Once you're happy with that view, you can go to your camera and add a new angle. And on the flutes, it is the Z axis. I'm going to change the scale. And then holding down shift, I can scale all of it proportionately. And you might want to group some of these. And now we need to set the fill. It can just be a clear glass. And on translucence, I'm going to turn down the index of refraction. Let's do a quick render preview here. And I'm going to turn the opacity down quite a bit on that dropper. I'm just making a few tweaks here and there, but overall this is looking really good. And it looks like the fill needs to move up a little bit from the bottom. All right, let's take a look at renders. Go to the render tab. I want to do the current and the front angles that I've saved, and I'm going to do PNGs at medium quality. For quickly mocking that up in Illustrator and Dimension, it's pretty impressive what we were able to achieve. If this video helped you out, please like the video so others can find it, and subscribe to get notified of new content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Take care.